morning YouTube. So today we're going to finish up an install of a Bosch heat pump system in a lawyer's office. We swapped out the air handler yesterday, got the supply tied in, got the line sets tied in, just going to vac it down today and start that process. All right, let's go check it out. All right guys, we just had to do a quick stop, pick up some nitrogen. Needed that today. All right, so we're up here on the rooftop, just getting started about to nitrogen this system and then vacuum it down. Make sure we have no leaks and get this thing under a vacuum so we can charge it and continue on with the other work. We got our pump out, gauges and all our vacuum hoses are in there. This is what this install is looking like so far. Got everything tied in yesterday. All our joints looking good. Filter dryer. Had to core out this brick a little bit to get our lines through. But yeah, this is a Bosch heat pump. Just about to hook up the nitrogen. All right, so we got this thing under a nitrogen test. So here's my setup. We have about 660 pounds on the gauge. We have our hose coming in. Use these Appian core tools, they work really good. I put them on both sides so I can put my micron gauge on that side when we're vacuuming down. That way the pump is not influencing the uh, micron gauge that much. So we're on the direct opposite side of the system. Right now we're holding above 600 PSI. Everything's looking good. We're gonna keep it on there for about a half hour. And then we will vacuum it down, charge it up with nitrogen again, and do that as like a triple evacuation process. But here's how our lines are looking. In the meantime, I'm gonna wire up this thermostat, get that all squared away. Yeah, buddy. All right, so our nitrogen test is held. Just got the pump fired up. We had the Appian hose coming down, pumping on our vapor side. We have another core tool hooked up on our liquid side. We have an isolation so we can isolate the micron gauge. Then we have the Supco micron gauge here. Looks like we're pulling down nicely. All right, little update. We pulled down to 562 so far, and it is still consistently pulling down, but it is starting to slow down a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get this thermostat wired up here. This is what the boards look like on these Bosch, Bosch heat pumps. Just gonna get this hooked up real quick. I don't know about you guys, but I use these Milwaukee Packouts for everything. This is the slim one. I have all my electrical stuff in here. All right, so I got the thermostat wired up. Have it so you can't really see it. Then it comes up right here. Nice little bit of slack, if ever needed. All tied in, just four wires on these. Gonna wait to tie in the main power because the core tool is right in the way. So I don't wanna mess up our vacuum. Which is sitting. around 334. All right guys, let's see where we're at with the vacuum. I isolated it on a little ladder here. All right, we've been isolated for a while. Yeah, so we're well under 500 microns, so that's great. And we're gonna dump the system.
I like this little yellow jacket ratcheting service tool here. This is the offset one. And it has the adapter to open systems up. Just get it in there like that. Fits these Bosch units. And double check everything. We're gonna to wanna to shut off our core tool on this side. And now we're ready to open up. Everything's isolated. You know what, before I open it, yeah, I'm gonna leave that there and just be careful to not open it in the meantime, but let the charge go. So much easier than a manual Allen wrench. Now the same for the vapor side. These boxes can be pretty tough. You ready for electricity yet or no? Yeah, we are. We should be good. Either way, um, I'll be mindful out here, but we're uh, we're all powered in there. The switch is just off, and yeah, I can. As soon as you're good, I'll throw the disconnect in. These Milwaukee organizing bags also come in clutch. Use one for all my core tools and everything. A little pair of pliers. My micron gauge goes in this one. Fits nicely. I can do it with one hand, but you get the idea.